intros like the one you just watched is a good way to introduce your channel to your audience. That is, you tell them who you are and what to expect when they watch your video. Welcome to my channel guys, I'm Golden IJ and in today's video I'm going to teach you a simple and easy way to design a YouTube intro video in CapCut app. A YouTube intro is a great way to brand our channel. This is because when a viewer sees the same intro in all your videos, it will enable the viewer to recognize your video once they come across it on YouTube. And when this happens, you've built recognition and familiarity on YouTube. Intros also adds a layer of professionalism to our videos. Before I begin the video proper, make sure to subscribe to my channel and like my video. Also, turn on your notification bell so you will know whenever I post new videos. Thank you. For the purpose of this lesson, this intro video that I'm about to play now is what I'll try to replicate. As you can see, I designed this intro video with CapCut app. You can achieve it. Therefore, in this tutorial, I'm going to walk you through how I achieve this. The first thing you will do when you open your CapCut is to import your background. When you are done importing your background, choose your aspect ratio for this video it is 16.9 because it is a youtube then expand the background to fill the surface then write my test click on test add test Enter my test. Welcome. For the welcome, let me style it. First, I will choose the font. In this case, I want a bolder font. On that style, I can just increase it. Color. I can decide to give opacity. Lighten it up or bolden it depending on what i want what i want it to the need is there are options to choose other effects i can decide to use this or this i will choose my animation the way i want it to come in there is zoom in i think i want i like throughout and then increase it when you are designing yours, there are other things that you can achieve with this. You can as well decide to put it inside bubble. Just play around it. There are different things you can do with this. I can decide to use this and just increase the size. Then the second test, add test. Then change the font as well. Let me remove the bubble first because I don't want it. In this case, I prefer a font that is cursive. I can decide to increase or decrease the size, but I notice it's kind of faint. I will go and give it stroke, which is line. You can as well give glow. I think glow will also work in this one. To leave glow. I added glow to it. You can add background, decrease the height, and decrease the width. But I don't need background in mine. You can as well add it shadow. Let me change the shadow color so you notice the difference. Then from here is to increase the spacing. When you when you click on spacing 
from there you can do the alignment depends on what you wanted and then increase the spacing this is character spacing i can decide to spread it out let me spread it out a little bit so it will make sense then line if it is double line you can increase the line spacing from here then animation animation the previous one i chose through a so let me choose another part another one i will extend my welcome to the end of the video and also extending to my channel to the end but i will do it in such a way that welcome and to my channel wouldn't come out at the same time so for that reason i will drag to my channel a little bit so it wouldn't be on the same line with welcome so let's play you can see Let me add the animation for my background. For the background, I added the animation, and the animation I added was rotate opening. The next thing I will do is to overlay a picture. So I'll click on overlay, and then choose the image I want to overlay. Remove BJ, auto remove. I can decide to reduce the opacity of this image a little bit. You can as well mask the image, but I don't want to mask it. Masking means putting it in a in a shape. You can use circle one, you can use square, you can use love shape. You can decide to mask your image. I'm just showing you the different options that are available for you to use. So, remove the mask. That's not what I want. Now, let me add animation to it. Okay, let me use slide up. Duplicate the picture. Bring it down again. Because the boot overlays. Carry the second one to this opposite side. Then for the animation, instead of slide up, let me... Then I will I will should give it slide down and increase the time. The next thing I will do is the sound audio. Click on sound effects, then choose a uh, transition. Let me go straight to transition. Let me add this. The next thing I did was to add music. When it comes to music, because I'm uploading these videos on YouTube, I normally download YouTube approved audios. If you choose a random music, YouTube might flag your channel. So I normally go to YouTube Audio, Music Studio, download from there, and then use on CapCut when editing my video. So for that reason, there is the one I already saved on my, on my phone. That's what I'll, I'm going to go now and import. Click on Audio. Sound. Device. Deconing is from YouTube, so let me quickly add it. Did you see our creation? I can still decide to add stickers, and to do that, when you've clicked out and nothing is highlighted, 
on the video you are editing. Just go until you get to stickers, then choose the one you want. There are a lot. This subscribe button, there is subscribe button there. Uh -huh. That reminds me I have not added subscribe button. Let's choose the one that is full. Mm -hmm. Coming to the end here. This is where I'm stopping for today. I noticed this video is getting a bit long. So I'm going to do a part 2 of this tutorial to show you how I achieved the second part of that intro video that I showed you in the beginning of this video. If there is any part of the video that you need clarification on, you can ask in the comment section and I will be glad to explain to you. Thank you. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel.